Hey guys, welcome back. This is Winter's Child. We're going to be playing a new game. It is called Jewel Quest Solitaire 3. Jewel Quest Solitaire 2 was kind of making me mad, so I decided to play the one that I favor the most right now, which would be this one, Jewel Quest Solitaire 3. I like it a lot better. It The format for it is nicer, more interactive, more so that I can read things a lot better. Alright, let's get into this. Welcome, reader. I see that you've stumbled upon my private study and personal journal. My name is Ratu. Ratu Edouard... Kadaru? Okay, again, I'm really sorry. I'm bad at names. And no doubt you are hunting for my treasure. I will show you where it is. I will show you where it is. It's secreted only if you can prove yourself worthy. You'll need to play through all of my card deck, through all of my card deck and jewel board challenges in order to earn the clues you seek. I shall tell you though, my final puzzle has yet to be solved. Who knows though? Maybe you will get lucky. What am I? What am I? A Fijian raised Oxford educated professor doing here in the middle of Cambodia? Agnar Watt is not er Adkar Wat is not the most hospitable place I've ever been. If if it weren't for meeting Rupert Pack and Emma Swimmingly at the London chapter of the World Archaeological Society, I never would have sent I never would have been sent on this crazy expedition. Ha! I'm not sure whether to thank them or curse them. They could have at least had the decency to join me on this little adventure instead of trespass instead of tracing off to Africa. Ooh, Africa. Let's get into this. Alright, we are starting this anew. It is a little quiet now. Move cards up to the foundation piles in ascending order, starting with the age of each suit. So like from king down to ace. Place cards in the place cards in the layout in descending order. A card may be played on any suit other than its own. Portions of stacks may also be moved around moved around within the layout. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna move this over to there. That there. Five on the six. Oh Fred. Okay, it does tell you about the undo button, so I'm gonna use it now. You only have four undos in this, unlike in Jewel Quest 2 where you have like nine. So let's undo that and move that there. That gives us a name. Ha ha ha. That's that. Alright. The music in this is very, like, zen mode, really. Put you in your inner peace. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do find that funny, though. Only- oh. I hope you guys stopped that long enough to read it. And if you didn't, just just go back in the video a little bit. <laughs> uh, kind of gung ho about this. Yeah, let's go do some jewel quest solitaire solving thing. Thing, and the thing thing, definitely. I should probably shut up now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. So there goes the nine and the three, and I have no king. So ah, oh, whoa. You can place a wild card on any card, later it can be replaced with a real card of the same value. And do that, but okay. Let's keep going. This is fun. I don't I don't know about you guys, but I like this game. It's a lot of fun. I mean yeah, it's like all Zen mode and peaceful and it's not guns of blame glory be trying to shoot 'em up games, but I'm not a shoot 'em up kind of person. I mean Violence is not one of my favorable aspects of life. Grr. Just. Grr. Okay. You suck. I kid you not, these Jewel Quest games love to hate me on camera. Seriously? Like, any time that I'm recording anything, it just totally throws me for a sting and loop. And I suck. 
Okay. That's just... Ah, I need a four! And a seven! <laughs> seven would be nice. Alright, I'm gonna use my aces. Great! Moving cards to a foundation pile increases your meter. When your meter is full, you will earn a power up point! Yeah! Wait. Whoa. The meter will become increasingly difficult to fill as you earn power up points. And be careful, every time you click on the stockpile, the meter resets. I will say this, if you use an undo after you've like accidentally clicked on the stockpile thing, it will give you back your little meter point. I did figure that out. So that is a cool little thing. You've earned a wild card. Click on the button. Click on the button to use it. I don't want to. I'm not gonna. Crap. Fine. Once played, you cannot undo a power up. That's why it's all blacked out, so you can't undo it. Awesome, I have more than I need. You're a stinky kidding me! Fine. Undo that, move that there. Try to move that there. Move that there, move that there, put that there, because I don't know where to put it. That there, that there. Six. Six would be nice. Six, five, four, king, ten, nine, eight, seven, jack, three, dos, ace, ten, wild. Yeah. And that will come up. That is a part about this game that I really, really like. It says, You will win! Would you like the cards to automatically finish for you? Yes, please. I must say, putting wearing headphones while playing this, this, the. That part, the ding, ding, ding part, really hurt my ears after a while because I had gotten it so low to where I didn't use anything. It's just like ding 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 ding. Oh my gosh, it hurt my ears. Aww, I'm three away. I must say that is a fun part. <laughs> just dancing along to the little clapping sounds. New part. What I love about this is you don't have to place the jewels. They're just automatically placed. And you have a timer down here. Match three or more jewels horizontally, horizontally or vertically. Can't speak. Use gold square. English. Wow. Don't know it, apparently. Use gold square to destroy a single jewel and turn its underlying space to gold. Go! Spaces turn to gold when the jewels are matched. Turn all the spaces to gold to advance. Awesome. Let's get going. Let's uh, try to do this as swiftly as possible. Do start, do start. Sometimes I wonder why I just randomly sing Christmas music. I mean, of all the music to hum to, Christmas? Really? Okay, the only sucky part about this game, I guess you could say, is that you can't move anything unless it has a pair. So, I will show you guys, um, next time, next little bonus gold square jewel board thing. Awesome. And you do get bonuses, which is what I really like about this game, is that it gives you more points, so you feel like you're accomplishing more, instead of completely failing at that. At all of the cards. Click and drag the pieces to start reassembling the artifact photo. Now once you fully complete the artifact photo, you do unlock the actual artifact. Okay. When you don't place anything in the right spot, it does this. When you do, it makes that sound. You need more torn pieces to complete this photo. Play more levels to reveal the pieces. I like Click on the book anytime to continue on your quest. I like this game a lot more because it keeps you entertained with more of the story. It gives you more instead of every little card there's a little something on it. 
Plus, you get to go to, like, Cambodia, Egypt, Germany, Peru, and Bahamas. Could not read that. Uh-oh. Here we go. After two weeks of digging and excavating, we are finally getting somewhere. We discovered a secret antechamber to the lesser temple today. Wow. Okay. And are carefully cleaning away the debris and rubble within it. Yumi Sai Saito, my wonderful assistant, has been invaluable in deciphering the ancient writing we have found on the walls. I think we are on we are on to something, and I feel that tomorrow will be an exciting and fruitful day. Let's go to tomorrow. Alright, uh, level two. Awesome. Plus you get to move through the levels a lot quicker in this game. Reminder, you may undo a few moves per hand. Use this to your advantage, but use it wisely. Is what it should say. Use it wisely. Little old sage master going on over here. Use it wisely. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I need a life. <laughs> you could say. I don't really need a life, but it'd be nice to have one. Because I think having a life would be nice. Why did all... Okay, I swear the brain works in mysterious ways, because right after I said that, I thought of the line in Inside Out, the movie, of... Boy alert! Boy alert! Run for your lives! Ah! They're all banging their heads on the controls, and... Doing all sorts of stuff, and, uh, and then the guy's head is like, Ah, girl alert, girl alert! What does she want? What does she mean? What does that mean? <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, alright. What you want to do in this game is try to move all the kings to free spaces, because that opens up a lot more space in this. So, it's a lot nicer when you do it. Now, you don't have to, then again, you don't even have to ever play this game, but, eh, you know, it's up to you. I did find out that I don't know if you can download this game at all, but oddly enough, there's a dual quest 1, 2, 3, and 4. I was just doing research on that, and I found that little nifty tidbit out, only the downer part is... I can't download games, so I won't be playing Jewel Quest Solitaire 1 or 4, sadly. Sad part for me, because I like these games, they're, they're a lot of fun. Except for 3. 3 hates me, with a passion. And I hate it, with an even more passion. Oh, bad idea. Good idea. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, don't question my knowledge. I, I can I can see I can see those weird looks that you're giving me. Come on. It's not like you haven't met weirder people before. I mean seriously, come on. You've got to have me met meet? What? Met weirder people than me before I ever came along. I mean seriously. There are other YouTubers out in the known scary realm of the universe. But and, and I kid you not, they're hilarious. But man, some of the things that they talk about is just way out there. Totally beyond my regions of understanding, I guess. Now, you can do this. You can put a 9 there, move the 8 there, and replace the 9. It is possible. And since I, I don't really want to do all that by myself, I'm going to have the game do it. Well, I can talk to you guys. So, how's it going? Good? Awesome. Sweet. I guess the goal of this game is trying to get as many points as you can. I must say, with my kind of non-flexible schedule that I do have being a student of the learning educations, I don't have a whole lot of free time. So, these videos will be scarce, and I'm gonna apologize now. I'd love to upload videos daily, but I won't be able to do that until I, be until I get on break. Which won't be for a while since I just got off a break. Alright, let's see this. Use plus 20 seconds to add more time on a jewel board. 
Match three gold coins in a row to earn an additional power-up point. Note, coins fall off the bottom of the board. That is true. Hey, that does happen. But, I mean, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, apologizing for the scarce amount of videos that I will have. And, I, I mean, I'd love to upload more videos daily, but... <laughs> Sorry, students, you have schoolwork. Ugh. I hate schoolwork. I mean, it's not bad, some of it, but most of it's just a pain in the Petrarchus. Awesome, we got a perfect. I don't think I've ever not gotten a perfect in Jewel Quest 3. I don't get perfects all the time in Jewel Quest 2, but that's just something that I can't really fix. Unless I were to, I don't know, hack the game, but I don't know how to do that since I know how to break a laptop faster than I know how to fix it. Which, oddly enough, is what I'm using. I'm using my laptop. That's interesting. <laughs> I know how to break a laptop faster than I can fix it. <laughs> so, what we're going to be getting is that little trinket right there, if you guys can see where my cursor's at. Right over there. I mean, cursor that's moving. So we'd be able to move it amongst these pedestals, actually. And if we place the pedestals in the correct order, I'm told that something will happen. I have a little bit of a nervous feeling about that, whether it be it something good or something bad. So, let's get into this. Exciting and fruitful indeed. I found an ancient jade tablet today. Jade is a very pretty gem, I must say that. I've never seen anything like it before. I brought it back to camp and I'm cleaning it up. I'm not sure where Yumi has gone, maybe to the, sh maybe to the river, but I'm looking forward to showing her the tablet when she gets back. She'll be, so, she'll be so thrilled. I must admit that I have greatly enjoyed her company these past, these past few weeks. I find her conversation stimulating and it is not only fair to say that I find her not attractive... Dot, dot, dot. He means to say attractive, like he's attracted to her, but hello first signs of romance, yeah, in a video game, uh, that's always good. <laughs> Level three, let's get camera. Now with each and every changing place, the background does change. That is a cool, neat little factor of this game that I really like. And I mean, I know a lot of games. Sorry if you guys find these games boring. I find them very fun and entertaining. But then again, I'm not you. You're not me. We all we're all different. So la da la da la da. We can like different things and be perfectly fine with that. Or at least I hope we can. I would hope that there's like no conflict behind the scenes where I'm not <laughs> knowing of. But I mean, I do like this game. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite game pastime games where you can just sit there and mindlessly play this game for hours. Which is actually what I've done. I am trying to get a new game going, but, I th but I'm also trying to figure out how to hook up a desktop. That's an interesting adventure all in itself. Because I'm afraid that if I mess something up, I'm going to break it. Which I'd love not to break my laptop since I kind of need it when I go off to college here in little over under a year I guess but hey looking forward to that so I will say this now I'm very excited for something cool that's coming up so for like an entire week I will not be uploading videos in March believe it or not I'm actually leaving to go someplace quite exciting I'm really thrilled about it. I can't wait to go. So, wish me luck. I hope to come back in one piece and not a bag full of pieces. So, that'd be awesome. But yeah, wish me luck. Wish me safe travels. And I hope I make it okay. Because I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to it. And I've never really been anywhere outside of where I live now so I mean if you were in my shoes you would know exactly how ex 
ecstatic I am about going on this trip. Alright, let's see if I can do something here. Seriously, Christmas? Again? Come on. <laughs> something other than Christmas! It's already past that time! Oy. The mind. I don't get it. No comprendo, señor. Alright. Awesome. I can move that there. And then put that there for a basis of something else. Okay. Now we did get a new little gem right there. Let's see what it is. Use an x ray power up to seek it to peek at face down cards. Also, use a shuffle power up to reshuffle the stockpile at any time. Awesome. I have found that that becomes very handy from time to time. Because there are times when I'm like, I can't figure this out. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, can do, man. Oh man. <laughs> wrong buttons. Way wrong buttons. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I'm in trouble. There we go. There we go. Never start this unless you intend to complete it. You will regret it if you don't. I'm saying that now. Forewarning. Just do it. You will thank me later. There's the mine. I need a stupid eight! Quit giving me sevens! I don't want your stupid sevens! And I get stuck with another nine. Come on! Alright. I don't know how far that would take me. But it's an inkling of a thought. Da da da. Move out right there so I can at least get down a bit. Oh, you're stinking fluff, fluff, fluff and stuff. Fluff and stuff! Don't ask me where I come up with all this stuff. I'm just trying not to curse. And I know that people curse all the time, but come on, we, we've heard that all the time. So why not mix it up a bit? Someone who doesn't curse, hey! I might just use use for that for a while. Plus, I find it actually quite funny to hear people say things when they're trying not to curse. But it just ends up becoming something horribly wrong. And it's like, dude, are you okay? Are you having a spasm? Do, do you need help? Obviously, they need lots of help. So, let's see if I can't mix this around a bit. And be able to move that there for when I get that. Because I'm going to need it. Yeah. It's, I always find it good to place one um, deck of cards underneath wild. It's just great usage for whenever you might need to move stuff around. So yeah, we got down another one. Sweet. I try not to make my videos too long because I really don't want to lose viewers halfway through this. And so, I mean, I like it when you guys view my stuff. It makes me feel like, I'm not such a total noob on YouTube. So, if you guys want me to continue games, certain games, I will. Like, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try very hard to finish the storyline of Jewel Quest Solitaire 2. It might kill me in the process, and possibly give me an ulcer, but I'm gonna try to. Use trade gems to swap two, jewel, two jewels of your choice. Go! My favorite part about Jewel Quest 3 is that there's a time limit. You don't have to have certain move counts, there's just a time limit. It is gorgeous and beautiful and amazing. I love it. Alright, hit the curl CTRL key. I can't, I'm not going to try to say that. To see the board without jewels. Let's try that. Where's my clip? Hello. Oh, it uses up time. Ah, let's not, not do that. Let's not do that. I like the time to be at a certain distance so that I don't freak out and mess up. Because, I mean, it is a very relaxing game, but, like, you start to get that urge of, I need to get this, I need to get this, I need to get this, I need to get this. Oh, crap. What am I going to do if I don't get this? It's like, yeah, as you can see, 
it did move down. Point proven. Voila. Also, when you do that, it gets you another one of those little theme jiggers. Okay, let's see. I might want to shut up and focus. So sorry if I don't talk, guys. Just for a second. Oh my. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Okay, I will tell you guys this. Most of the time I forget I even have a time limit until it starts like blinking at you. Because it goes doot, doot, doot. And like the eyes on and actually everything, the whole setup does change when you go to a different country, I should say, I guess, I want to say, but the layout does change, the background does change, I don't know exactly, oh, what's the time, the tablet S. Now, I must say, I have finished this game, it was a lot of fun, I got to the very end, I've never been to the very end before, it was pretty unique, so let's read this. My head is only just beginning to clear. Something terrible has happened. It was, I believe someone knocked me unconscious. Who it was, I don't know. But the tablet is missing and the camp is in shambles. Yumi still hasn't returned, so I'm going to search for her. I am greatly worried for her safety. Ooh. Protective man alert! Protective man alert! <laughs> Actually, really good if... I personally find it really nice to have a man that will stick up for you. If you guys haven't figured it out, I am a female. I want to make that clear. <laughs> I am female. I like men. Let's just say that now. Because um, with like all the changing tides of everything lately in societal standards, I might want to clear that up. Well, but there really was no clearing. I just wanted to... There, was a... there really wasn't a need to say it either. Why did I say that? Um, I really should shut up now. I might want to find a point in time to where I can wrap this game up soon. So, <laughs> let's see if I can't finish this quickly. Like that's going to happen, because this is a strategic game. Gotta go and take it slow. I don't like it slow, I like to go fast. How fast Sonic fast? Shoot me for my horrible jokes. Because they really are horrible. Dang. Oh, I suck at joke making. Joke telling jokes in general. <clears throat> I suck at talking in general, to be honest. I'm not... I'm not totally verbal-esque, you could say. I mean, I know I've been totally running my mouth for a good almost half an hour, you could say, of video recording time. But I am not totally talkative, and the only reason why I'm doing this is because I can hide behind a screen, and I don't have to record myself. Hey, bummer. Allison, why don't you record your s- My name's not Allison, just so you know. It's something else. I'm thinking of a friend of mine. <laughs> wow. Like I said, brain does not work right. At the most inopportune moments. Like, hey, Winter, why don't you record yourself? Because I'm really shy. Okay. Use the unbury power to power up to clear this debris. Cl oh my word! Use the power. Oh. Unbury power up, clear away, rubble. There we go. It's the thing, thing, and the thing, thing, and the thing, 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 thing. There we go. If you were speak gibberish, you'd know what I said. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I do crack myself up, and I... I don't know why I laugh at myself, because I'm a dork and a half. But I just find it funny. If you can't laugh at yourself, you can't ever enjoy other people laughing at you. So, I guess. Where was I going with that? Wait. 
My attention span is about as short as a dog's. I kid you not. I'm like, okay. Use the unbury power up to clear this buried cart. I said it right! Awesome! <laughs> you have no clue how awesome that is that I can speak right again. At least for now. Before I go script some more words. But oh well. Whoa, wrong card. You gotta be kidding me! Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not pleased when I start groaning at this stupid game is not there! Why must you hate me, game? Why? Why is it always on camera that you hate me? Like, seriously, what the flip did I do to you to hate- Oh, shh. Um, crap. This is fun. No, not really. Not at all, I must say. Not one bit. Alright, there's a seven. Awesome, I can clear this away. Sweet. So then I can end the video soon, because it's going on for over a half an hour. I'm really sorry, guys, for the long video. This was an kind of partial intro kind of segueing into hey let's just play the stupid game so i am sorry that this is so long i have enjoyed playing this though so i'm not sorry about that and i refuse to be sorry about that because this is a fun game and i really like this game i wish i re i could record one of my other games that i really really like but my recording is stupid on so many levels and the resolution i have to have it at a certain degree on my laptop before I can put something into a Windows format. Yippee. Software. Eh. Use clear coins to remove all gold coins from the board. Note, this will also turn the underlying spaces to gold. Very, very useful tool. I will say that now. Oh crap, what do I want to use? There we go. Is that down? No, I missed my opportunity! Oh well. A good part about this game is getting lots of big kind of... Whoa! Like, okay. I know I said I was going to show you this and I completely forgot about it. Jewels can only be swapped if it results in a three in a row. So you cannot do exactly what I just tried to do by accident, you could say. I told him I meant to do that, guys! Yeah! <laughs> Nervous laughter. Okay. Let's figure out how in the world I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, come on. Stop moving! Okay. Sweet! And we got another perfect! High five us, guys! Yeah! So this might end up being like a 35 minute video. <laughs> Because I do want to place the pieces, because I think they're the last two pieces that I need before we find out what happens to our traveler to be able to unlock the artifacts that we need. So, yes, it's the last two pieces. Awesome. So, putting this into position, the tablet sits in position four. Now, if you see all these pictures, they're all going to unlock all the artifacts that we find Congratulations! You've unlocked an artifact! Throughout the game, you must unlock all the artifacts and place them in the correct order on the stands. I just about said standards! So, we're gonna read about what happens to this guy really quick. We're not gonna play the game yet. I'm gonna save that for another video, but let's read! I've searched everywhere and have found... and have found signed and have found sign of neither my attackers nor Yumi. I believe that the bandits have taken Yumi and are using her translating skill to decipher the tablet's writing. What could be so valuable about the tablet's about the tablet script that they'd risk assaulting and kidnapping? Which is illegal, by the way. At least where I'm at. <laughs> Luckily, before the attack, I took a rubbing of the tablet and now have it safely tucked away in my pocket. I will endeavor to decipher Yes, I will endeavor to decipher the writing myself, and maybe that will shed some light on this mystery. Dun 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 
Alright guys, this is going to be the end of the video. My name is Winter's Child. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you liked me. Or comment if you didn't. I want to know how to fix it. Or just comment with praises of your awesomeness towards my lack of complete and utter skill for this. That'd be great. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll be playing this again. Because I really don't want to be playing Jewel Quest Solitaire 2. The infuriating game. Curse and bane of my existence. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys later. Bye!